Golden, and I'm proud to announce the reissue of a new expanded edition of my book, Saving Our Sons, Raising Black Children in a Turbulent World, released by my publisher's Mango Publishing Group. When I signed with Mango about two years ago, I was very pleased and gratified that my editor said to me that she was a huge fan of Saving Our Sons. And as Mango worked with me, one of the things they really wanted to do was to reissue a new edition of Saving Our Sons. My editor felt, and I think rightly so, that this book published 27 years ago still spoke to Black people, Black children, still spoke to our society at large. Saving Our Sons, Raising Black Children in a Turbulent World is the story of my struggle, my successful journey to raising my son and saving my son against the backdrop of unprecedented levels of homicide against the, quote, drug wars of the mid-1990s. It's a book that I try to fill with love, with hope, with inspiration. It's a book that became a bestseller. I was interviewed on The Oprah Winfrey Show, but what really meant the most to me was that so many parents so many community groups look to the book as a source of inspiration. And so now, 27 years later, the values and the strategies that I discussed in the book to save our sons and our daughters still speak to us today. We're currently living in the midst of a COVID mental health crisis that's challenging us in so many ways. And my book, Saving Our Sons, Raising Black Children in a Turbulent World speaks to this moment as it spoke to the past. We're still learning how to save our sons. We're still learning how to save our daughters. We're still learning how to raise Black children in a turbulent world. So I urge you to get your copy of Saving Our Sons from anywhere and everywhere books are sold. Thank you. (laughs) 